Listen, the holiday season is just around the corner. And whether you are a service-based business selling digital products or consulting services, the holiday season, particularly between Black Friday and Cyber Monday, is still a huge sales opportunity for you to rake in sales for your business. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step holiday promotion planning process that you can follow to make sure that you rake in all the sales when it comes to your Black Friday promotion. I love what I do, and I know they love it too, and my millions gonna come hands in the air. I'm number one. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Ebony Yvonne, your go-to business operations strategist, here to help you grow your business through people and processes. And today, we are tapping into some strategic business planning and talking about how to plan for holiday promotions, particularly when it comes to Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a four-step process that you can follow to plan your Black Friday promotion, all right? Now, before we get into the four-step process that I want to share with you, if you are looking for a systematized way to manage your launch campaign for your Black Friday or any holiday promotion that you have or any launch in your business in general, then make sure you check out the pinned comment as well as description and go check out my launch portal called Launch Correct. This portal is a step-by-step -step framework process that walks you through how to plan and execute all of the launches that happen throughout your business by following an easy to follow roadmap with step-by-step -step tasks, as well as milestones that you wanna make sure you don't forget about so that you can launch profitably, all right? That will be down in the pin comment as well as description box of this video. Now, as promised, let's get into the step-by-step -step holiday promotion planning process. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to start by doing your research. So depending on your previous experience, if this is going to be your first Black Friday or if you have had other Black Friday campaigns in the past, you want to make sure that you do your research on what is going to be the best thing for you to offer to maximize your revenue. So first things first, if you have had other Black Friday campaigns in the past, or if you have done other holiday promotions even, you want to take the time to assess your last year promotions, look at your data, look at the details, how well did your sale go, what did you offer, was it on a particular product or service, how did it perform, did it do really good, did it do not so well. You want to look at that data because that is going to be key insight that you can leverage in order to help you plan for this year's promotion. Now, obviously, if you did a promo on a particular product or service and it didn't do well last year, that could be a good indicator that it may not be the best thing for you to offer this year. Or if you had a particular promo that you did that blew things out of the water, then obviously that may be something that you want to leverage again for this year. So just an example with me and my business, I have done a lot of different Black Friday campaigns over the years. I have, I have offered exclusive bonus deals. I have done limited time offers. I have done um, products and promotions where there's expiring bonuses. And the one that has always performed the best for me is a Black Friday promo where I essentially have one main offer that's an exclusive limited edition Black Friday bundle. You can only buy this bundle during Black Friday. You can't get it any other time. But as the days go on between Black Friday and Cyber Monday, different elements of that bonus or that bundle expire. So for example, on Black Friday, if you purchase, you're going to get the bundle with five things. If you wait till Saturday, it's only going to have four things. If you wait till Sunday, it's only going to have three things. If you wait till Monday, it's only going to have two things. Whenever I use that, that has always been my best performing Black Friday promotion. And so that is what I'm going to be using for this year because it has done so well in the past. Now, you may want to do something similar for your business, but 
If you are new and you have never offered anything for Black Friday before, you don't have any data that you can rely on, no need to fret, okay? Because you can still put your ear to the street and poll your audience and see what it is that people want. So obviously the easiest way to do this is to tap into your existing audience and just ask them what they want. Ask them if there's a particular product or service that they've been eyeing all year that it would be great if it went on a discount, right? Or maybe there's um, a particular promo that they want. You can pull your audience and let them decide for you. But also, if you don't have an audience that you can tap into, something else that you can do is just look at market trends that are happening in your particular industry or just the industry as a whole. Now, if you want a good starting point when it comes to looking at marketing trends, particularly for Black Friday, the best thing that you can do is hop over to blackfriday.com. That's blackfriday.com and look at their trend reports to see what is happening in the current Black Friday season, when deals are supposed to start, um, what are going to be like the best things to offer. You can look at all the trends that are happening. They typically vary from year to year, but typically around now, the August, September timeframe is when you will start to see blackfriday.com post marketing trends and kind of what's happening going into the holiday season. So you can definitely leverage that when it comes to planning your own holiday promotions. Now, step number one is to do your research. Let's go ahead and jump into step number two. Once you've done your market research, you've put your ear to the street, polled your audience, you've looked at last year data, what you wanna do is to plan your offers for this Black Friday. What offers are you going to, to actually put out into the market? Are you gonna offer something new, an exclusive bundle, a limited edition bundle? You're gonna have deep discounts. Whatever your offer is gonna be, you wanna make sure that you take the time to be intentional and plan that out. So if you don't know exactly what it is that you want to offer, do check out my 11 holiday promotions that can help you to skyrocket your Black Friday sales. In this video, I give you 11 different tried and true holiday promotions that you can leverage that can help you to increase your revenue and boost your sales particularly during this holiday season. Now, once you know exactly what it is that you're going to offer, I do have some bonus tips that can help you when it comes to planning out your offer, okay? So the first tip is going to be to make sure you try to make your offer as unique and compelling as possible. You don't want your offer to just kind of blend in in a sea of other offers and make it to where it doesn't really feel special or it feels like it's something that you can get any other time of the year one of the biggest driving factors behind increasing your holiday sales is because it is something that is unique that people typically cannot get any other time of the year so keep that in mind when you're planning your promotions all right so another tip that i have when it comes to planning your offers is that you want to make sure that you create some type of urgency and I have an entire video about how to create urgency and scarcity here in an ethical way, okay? So check out that video as well. Essentially, you want to make sure when you plan your offer, you want to make sure that you incorporate some sense of urgency so that people have a reason to buy now rather than waiting to buy later, okay? Hence, holiday sales and raking in the sales. Now, the last tip that I have for you when it comes to planning your offers is don't assume that all offers are going to be for everybody, okay? Especially if you're leveraging email marketing, a great way for you to increase your sales is to segment your list and segment your audience so that you only send them the deals that are probably going to be the most meaningful and impactful for them. So for example, if you have, let's say, a coaching program and you have people who have shown interest in the past, you may want to segment your list and have like a VIP segment where these are people who have shown interest in the past and say, hey, I'm going to have a special deal on this coaching program for Black Friday. Do you want to be on the list so you can be the first one to know about it, right? And so you can send that exclusive, exclusively 
to those people who have already shown interest. Also, you can look at past purchasing behaviors from your previous clients and customers and see what did they buy in the past? What are some other complimentary products and services that you have that they will most likely be interested in, in as well? So what are some other products and services that you have that they may likely be interested in as well? And then they will be more likely to buy. Now, those are the tips that I have for you when it comes to planning your offers. Let me know down in the comments below this video. Have you thought about what it is that you want to offer for this Black Friday? If so, let us know what you plan to offer down in the comments below this video, okay? Now that we have our offer planned out, we've done our market research, the next step in the process is to build your sales funnel or optimize your sales funnel. So if you're offering something new this Black Friday, obviously you have to create your sales pages, create the whole sales funnel and all of that. But let's say you have an existing offer, you still wanna make sure that you go back and optimize your sales funnel, make sure all your pages are working, make sure that they're not lagging, that, that um, they're not being delayed to load. And also you wanna make sure that it's optimized for increased traffic as well. So three quick tips for how to optimize your sales funnels for your offers is number one, you want to make sure that you audit your sales page. You want to make sure that there's no typos, that the messaging is clear, that the page works, and that it is going to be able to handle increased traffic if you're expecting a lot of people to go to your sales page. And then also tip number two Consider adding order bumps, upsells, downsells, cross sales, so that you can actually increase your average order value. So on my channel, I believe I have a video with how I've created upsells using a tool called Voma, which is great if you sell digital products and online services. This is a way for you to add those order bumps, those cross sales and upsells into your sales funnel in a affordable way. So I will put that in the comment in the description as well. If you want to check out that tutorial on how to do that, but even if you're using a different sales checkout or process, if they have the capabilities of being able to add order bumps, or upsells, consider what products and services that you may be able to leverage to use as order bumps or upsells so that you can increase your sales during this time as well. Last but not least, tip number three when it comes to optimizing your sales funnels is to make sure that you test your tech. Listen, I don't know how many times I have had clients calling me on Thanksgiving Eve like, Ebony, this isn't working. I didn't do this. I forgot about this. And then there's an expectation that I'm going to help them fix this while I'm trying to enjoy my holiday with my family. And it's a no-go, okay? <laughs> I don't do this for my clients and I don't want you to be doing this either. So make sure you test your tech way ahead of time and you know that the tech gods are working in your favor. Your, your sales pages are up. The links are working. The emails are going to run and fire when they want to. Your social media content is posting. The graphics are right. Make sure you test it all from A to Z days, if not weeks, before your actual Black Friday campaign goes live and thank me later, all right? <laughs> all right, so there you have it. That is how you can optimize your sales funnels. And last but not least, when it comes to planning for your holiday promotions, you want to make sure that you have a marketing plan in place. You've created your offer. You've optimized your sales funnel. You know it's ready to accept all the traffic in the world. Now you want to come up with a strategic, fail-proof marketing plan that's going to help you to get sales and reach your sales goals, right? Now, let's go ahead and jump into the last step of your holiday promotion planning. You have done your market research, so you know what people want, you know what to offer, you've created your offer, and you've optimized your sales funnel so that you can get all the traffic in the world. Now you have to come up with a marketing plan so you can get the word out about your Black Friday promotion. And you want to do this by making sure you decide, number one, what marketing channels are you going to use to get the word out about your Black Friday? 
Are you going to use email marketing? Are you going to use social media marketing, content marketing? Are you doing paid ads? Are you going to do some offline marketing? Maybe you're going to buy a TV commercial or a billboard, right? You want to make sure that you know what marketing channels you're going to use. And then once you know what your marketing channels are, you want to plan your content, create your marketing materials for each marketing channel that you plan to use when it comes to your holiday promotions. So if you're going to use email marketing, you want to make sure that you write out your email content. If you're using social media marketing, you want to make sure that you have your graphics ready, you have your captions for your posts or your reels created, your TikTok videos, whatever. You want to make sure that you create all of those marketing assets so that you are ready to schedule and fire them off when Black Friday comes. So I know that this seems super simple, but creating a Black Friday campaign does not have to be super overwhelming and it doesn't have to be this big overcomplicated thing, right? Come up with your offer. Well, first do your market research, create your offer, create your sales funnel, and then create your marketing plan to execute it all. And it is literally that simple. So if you were looking for a tool or system that can help you when it comes to planning your Black Friday campaign, make sure you check out Launch Correct. This is my lunch system that I created. I have created a very special Black Friday edition where it is literally already pre-populated with tasks as well as a timeline so that you know exactly what you need to create and when so that you can maximize the impact of your Black Friday sale. If you want to grab Launch Correct, it will be a link in the pinned comment below this video. Other than that, you guys, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by my internet home. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications so anytime I upload another video just like this, you will be the first one to get notified. Other than that, I want to wish you the best of luck on your Black Friday sale. And make sure you come back and tell me what you offered and how your Black Friday sale goes. All right? Bye, y'all. Thank you.